it's me, some of us G1, coming at you for another Transformers review, because TF Nation is um, two weeks away. Yes, today, two weeks, two weeks, the 1st of August, so two weeks today, it will be there. So, we are doing Titan's Return, quick, today, but unfortunately, I can't find any bio on him. I'm on TF Wiki right now, I've been on TFU, um, but basically, I'll give you the generations, uh, the generation one um, uh, bio for him. Uh, nothing lasts forever, but why, so why destroy it now? A destructive berserker attacks everyone, and anything with a vengeance doesn't stop shooting until everybody, everything is in ruins. Capable of leveling the entire Autobot installation in minutes. Titanium-based shreds are equipped with um, special adhesive that enables Quake to climb sheer cliff surfaces. Known for somewhat off-the-wall battle tactics. Uh, in this case, he isn't. He's teamed it with. Tip top, a former, a former circus strongman, a transformative balance altering, a gyroscopic destabilizing weapon. Great, that's a great weapon. And he, uh, a smart Alec Street Punk who transforms into a double photon pistol, uh, equipped with plasma cannon in tank mode. So, yeah, there we go. And there he is. Very nice, very nice, very fucking nice. Um, and he does, he's, hang on a minute, he comes with Chasm. Is his head in this mode? Um, so we will switch views because I do that now, and you'll see my disembodied hands very shortly. But for you, it'll be a couple of seconds. For me, a couple of minutes. So. Bye. And here we are, and there he is. He is fucking quake. Um, very nice, very nice. Um, redo of the hard head mold uh, into a H tank. Um, not unlike um, thingy as well. Um, Tankor is a H tank from Beast Machines. Um, yeah, very nice, very nice, very nice. Hang on a minute, let me just adjust my setup ever so slightly. Uh, there we go. Oh, no, I'm going to fall over doing that. Yeah, so... He doesn't really have anything um, articulation in this mode, apart from his gun can raise up. And it's on a, um, a real strange joint, actually, at the back here. Um, I'm going to try and get it into frame. You can raise it up like so, um, and then you can make it massively powerful and stuff like that. Um, we'll just take his gun off in there, because it can store in there in uh, in tank mode. So we'll take a look at, um, what's he called? Chasm. It was Quake's little, little friend. He's a tiny, tiny robot. Let's see if we can zoom that in. Are we going to zoom that in? There we go. He is a tiny, tiny little robot with a tiny little head. Um, in terms of articulation, he can um, move his arms up. About to the, yeah, he moves up there. Move his arms up. Rotate his head 360 degrees. Um, he can move his legs like that, like that, like that. Um, and he has peg holes in the bottom there. So what you can do in this mode, there is a peg hole. Uh, there's a peg. Where is it? Uh, here. Uh, let's focus that in. There we go. And you can stand him there if you want. Which looks a bit stupid, if I'm honest. Um, but you can. what you can do is... Let's take this gun off, because it'll be easier to do. So you get this really nice big gun. And you can open it up like that. And he can sit inside it, you see. Like so. So you wait a minute. So you put his little arms out like oh, that, and then you can sit him inside his little well in the big gun. Like all these Titans Returns can. So you can sit in that gun. That's my phone. And then you can put that gun on there like that. And then you can have him, and then put this back on here like that. And you can have him manning this huge fuck off cannon. If you so want to. Um, why won't you sit straight? Ah, oh, because I've mistransformed it, that's right. There we are. And he sits straight, and he does have he does have um, some wheels on the bottom. He's got these blue wheels. Um, got some blue wheels here and up here. So you can, you can roll reasonably well, I would think. Reasonably well. So... To transform him, so basically just take off this uh, gun st stick and stuff there. So move that over there. 
Um, so basically what we're doing is we flip him over, we flip that back up like that. Then it's just a case of just sort of, dis, you know, um, dislodging things, just uh, moving them out of the way. So in here, you can see his legs are connected on this post here. So this fit on like that, so it fits in there very nicely. And they just slide off like that. And then you move his legs down and they just sort of slide into place thus. And then you can pull out his little feety there. Same for this side, do the same thing, pull out his little feet. And there you go, we have some legs and a torso. Then we basically just separate everything there, move it all around like all that. And I really need to bring this back down to that area. Um, so we then disconnect those. And these will obviously become his arms, and then you pull out his, his fists, like that. Come on now, Hasbro, we need just, you know, a panel to cover that gap up there. Come on, you're doing it on toys, you know, 10, 15 years ago. Seems to be a thing of the past now. And you just extend his arms down, thus, thus, thus. Then you take this section here, which will obviously become... Um, where the head is you've got a uh, port there and a sort of um, rectangular sort of post there and that just rotates down and it just fits in there quite nicely sort of friction holds it in and then you rotate this oh nowhere and you rotate this entire section back like that again it just all fits in kind of um friction so it all fits in there nice and you position that up like so and then we have a fucking robot, don't we, boys and girls? Let's see. Come on. He, he's one of these figures that will won't stand up very well. And I've just realised that I do need a lot more room to do these. Let's see. There we go. There we go. And there we have a robot. And then we get his head, whether I put it in here. So we just basically disconnect everything and we fold that back up and this gun you can you can hold it if you want to so you can put it in his hand like that to give him a massive fucking cannon or you can take it out of there and then you can place it up on the shoulder there like that so you can hold it like so hard head style <sighs> sorry I'm a bit snitched Sniffy, I've had a big sneezing fit. Um, yeah, so we stand him up like that, and then we get a uh, chasm, and we just transform him back to a robot mode, like so. And he's got a really, really cool face, he's kind of pissed off. Um, some right nice molded detail in there as well, which is pretty good. And standard Titan's Return dealy. He just clips into that little part there, thus. So he's got to get it on like that till it clicks. And there he is in robot mode. Very nice, very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, come on, focus. There we go. That's it. So you can see what I'm doing. And there he is. He's, he's pretty cool. So, in terms of articulation, his head can move up a little bit, down a little bit, and rotate. 360 exorcist twist. He can rotate at the shoulder thus. So it's on a nice big ball joint. You can rotate it in and out. Um, his arms are on a double uh, hinge, but you can only get about that on his elbows. Um, he's got blah, 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 blah. he's got bicep swivel as well, so you can bicep the swivel. And then you can rotate at the wrist as well. Nothing at the hips though, unfortunately. So you can't rotate him at the waist, but he's got full range of motion in his legs. He's got a nice big ball joint in there. You can bend his knee, and that is about your lot. Um, oh, yeah, you can rotate at the thigh as well. So, Quake can do all kinds of movements except with waist, which is a bit of a shame. But he does have a, um, some nice Decepticon symbols if you're going to focus in. He's got two on each arm, well, one on each arm. <laughs> And this nice sort of um, lightning strike thing going on. Nice one in the middle there. Um, and you can give him his gun. Who is, who is a very nice gun, actually. Let's have a look at the gun. It's a very nice gun. It's kind of, kind of like a machine gun. It's kind of like a rifle. Um, it's pretty cool. 
um, and you can hold the gun like so. There we go, and you can. I like to stand him like this. I like to pose him, kind of ready for action kind of pose. You know, so you can just sort of put that up like that, and then he kind of raise up his gun arm, and he's ready, ready for action. Let's move him up to the side there. You know, so he's he's ready to go. Ready to bust some Autobots. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I I really do like this guy. I think he's one of the better Titans Returns figures that I own. Um, I think, do you know what? I think for the most part, I think the Deluxes were actually better figures than some of the Voyagers. Um, but yeah, he's, he's really cool. Should you get him? Yes, you fucking should. He is a really cool figure. Um, I, did, I didn't even see anywhere uh, the original Hardhead mould. Um, and it's, um, so when I saw this guy in b and I was like, mine, um, so I just, I just picked him up and just went mine, um, but he's really cool, really, really cool, really cool, so thanks for watching and, um, watching me prattle on, um, we have, um, my Patreon, which will be up here, uh, please check out my patreon there are come some cool rewards over there um and um keeps the likes on at, at shares thrust check out my other transformers reviews which will be here um and check out my star trek and my tf nation videos yes and um give this channel give this video a big thumbs up you can't even see what i'm doing big thumbs up and um helps out the channel and why not consider subscribing and hit that notification bell tell when i've got new uh, content out so that's me, that's Quake, and I will catch you in two weeks at TF Nation. See you soon.